Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I have, as you can see, a Mango custom action figure that I just got done with. Um, this one took me quite a bit, and I'm just gonna try doing like a short review on it. I have made some clips though for like the process of making this. But anyways, let's just get into the video. Now I think this is probably like one of my best customs, if not my best one that I've made yet. And I just think it looks really good. Now I'm just gonna get on with the articulation first. For the legs, it has a ball joint right there um, at the like, I don't know what to call that, but I guess like the thigh. We also have a ball joint right here at the knee. And this basically goes for all uh, three of the legs, including the one arm right here. Has, but all have the same articulation. And unintentionally for the torso, it can actually swivel a little bit like this. Um, and again, again, that was not intentional. I wanted to have a ball joint right here, but it just did not work out. We have a ball joint at this shoulder, and that's basically it for the articulation on this arm. The joint broke off for the elbow right here. Same with the other arm, but this one also has two more points of articulation. You have one at the elbow and one at the end here. I don't know what to call this. Last but not least, you also have a hinge uh, for the head, but no ball joint, which is sad. Now that's it for the articulation, I'll go compare it with some other figures. Okay, so here's Mangles uh, compared to my Music Man figure, and they actually scale really well, although I'm pretty sure Mangle would be bigger, but I think they look really good next to each other. And here's Mangle compared to Millennium and Godzilla, uh, made by Bandai, by the way. Here's CS compared to my And they actually do scale pretty well, because Nightmare Fredbear is actually pretty big, and so is Mangle. So I think they'd be around the same height. I think he's actually like a bit taller than she is, honestly. And finally here, Mangle is compared to my like eight inch, seven inch um, lefty figure. So yeah, Mangle actually scales pretty well with all the other figures that I have. Um, kind of like with the Funko 6, which is what I tried uh, making her scale with. She actually scales pretty well, although Fredbear is a bit taller and bigger, but I thought he'd just be cool to compare. But yes, um, she scales pretty well with the other Funko 6 inch figures. So as you can see, Mangle is about six inches tall, or six and a half inches, is what I should say. Here she is compared to another Funko figure. I just chose Chica because um, Chica doesn't have like ears or anything like Bonnie and Freddy, and doesn't have like a top hat. So I thought that Chica would be good to do a better like size comparison for Funko figures. Now, some of you might know if you're um, old, like old fans for this channel, um, is that I already made a Mangle figure before. Um, and also a picture of what it looks like compared to how it looks like now. And basically I used that figure for this one. Um, so yeah, it's a big improvement, honestly. It's just, I didn't really like that one. And I thought I could definitely do better now because I made that so long ago. And I think I definitely did. Now, if you're wondering, like some of you are wondering probably why the head is like a different shape. It's because this was actually um, used, like or made from my Roxanne Wolf figure head. Um, that I had because I made Ruin Roxy. And so since I made that one, I had like uh, Rox and Wolf's face. I'll probably show a picture up right now. And so I used that and got epoxy sculpt, as you can see probably from the back, and sculpted it out to look more like Mangle. Now for this endo head, how I made him was basically, I got epoxy sculpt, made a bunch of little pieces while looking at a reference images for um, this endo skeleton head. And after all those little pieces have dried, I basically just hot glued them all together. And that's kind of the same thing I did for this chest, or the torso. Um, but instead of using epoxy sculpt everywhere, I used Milliput for most of this stuff. But then these little squares and other things like that, I actually used from past figures that I have in my um, extra parts box. So yeah, pretty much all of this figure is from all the cu past custom figures that I've had that like I had like extra ball joints and stuff like that. And so I basically just used it on this figure. Like how these two feet are from my Glamour Pony figure. And this is from my bootleg uh, Cindy figure from Financial Candies. And I just use this foot because it's the, pretty much the exact same as the Twin Animatronics. And most of the joints on here are honestly from my old Mangle figure. Um, other than like the three feet that I chose not to use because uh, it was just did not look like Mangle. So yeah. And some of the parts right here on the torso and stuff I used from a bunch of other my past figures because I got from my... Uh, that has a lot of stuff in it. So yeah, if you are if you like making custom figures a lot and stuff, and you um, need extra parts and stuff like that, I'd recommend just like put, putting all your extra parts into like a little box, so that when you make future customs, you can glue them all together and just make something out of it. And if you wanna know more about how I made this figure, since this video is pretty much done, 
Um, I'm probably gonna have another video out tomorrow, honestly. Oops. Anyways, like I was saying, I'm probably gonna have another video out tomorrow, um, showing the process of how I made this figure and how you can possibly make your own. Um, honestly, I don't know if you would be able to make your own though, because a lot of the joints I used were from a bootleg, were like a, from a lot of bootleg figures that I got, like the net figures, and they don't sell them anymore because I made a video on them, not saying that they were bad or anything, I just reviewed the bootlegs. Um, that got really popular, which is not what I expected, and so I think their site got taken down, so yeah. So that sucks, um, because I used them for a lot of customs, but there is probably some other bootleg figures you can find on Amazon that have the same type of joints. Anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching this video, it helps me out a lot, and please like and subscribe because this thing took me like a week to make, and I worked on it every day to try getting it done. So I had to put a lot of work into this, and also in the video, so it helped me out a lot, and anyways, thank you all so much, and peace out.